If you like to see how I created these lovely glittery UV resin sparkly charms, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube! So today in this video, I am going to be making some little um, resin charms or little, I guess, figurines. They don't have to be used as charms, but you can if you want to. Or you could just glue these type of things on manually to shoes or whatever you want to use them for. So I purchased this little purse one. I think this, I bought this off Amazon. So it's like four different purses. I don't know how well this is gonna work or this may have come, came off AliExpress. I can't remember. But I thought that would be cute to have little purse molds. And these bears already had these, but I wanna make a couple more. And then I bought this from Walmart. And this is just um, to, to make like some stars. So I thought it'd be cute to have maybe some star charms or you know, whatever. Then I wanted to test out my new LV, uh, my new LED UV lamp. It's so pretty. The previous one I had, it was super cheap. It was like $11 or maybe 12. I bought it twice actually because it broke and I bought another one and then that one broke. I think this one is a lot better. This one was like $24. So I just had to step it up a little bit there. So I have some glitters here. Um, I have the UV resin that I purchased from Amazon. I have some UV resin that I purchased from Amazon. I think this was about $20, but you get two of these. And this is 100 grams, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. And I wanna start by just adding um, a little bit of resin into the first mold. I think I'll start off with the purse mold. So I'll just start off by putting a little resin in there and I'll use like this little plastic uh, knife to kind of stir it in there and be real careful. So I just started out by adding a little bit of the UV resin into the mold. Then I added in this yellow glitter and I just kind of stirred it around with this plastic knife. Then I slowly added a little bit more of the UV resin because I didn't want to overflow the little mold because if you do that, you'll ruin it. Then I added a little bit of the pink chunky glitter just to see how it would give it a different effect. And then like I'm not going to do all four molds because I don't know if I'm going to like it enough. So I'm just going to do this little um, this little clutch purse mold at the bottom with the blue glitter and see how that goes. Then I'm just going to place it inside of the UV lamp and let it cure for a few seconds. And take this out. And this light seems to be a lot more brighter than the last one I had. So now I'm going to unmold it and be careful because it is usually pretty warm. So give it a little bend here. Be very careful. Okay, good. Oh, okay. So it does actually look like a purse. All right. I didn't know how that strap was gonna work out because it was so thin in that area. Hmm. And then I'll just put it back in there just because. Now I'll take out the clutch purse. That's nice. And that's what that looks like. Now I'm going to start with this little star mold. Now this mold is pretty deep and I just put a little bit of resin in there and kept adding glitter, kept adding a little bit more. So just kind of taking my time. So these did take a lot, um, not a whole lot of resin, but I'm not gonna fill up this whole tray, uh, which I'm glad I didn't. I just wanted to kind of see how they turned out. And these are the little molds that you can get from like the baking area. I got these when I was in Walmart. I like using different glitters, like fine glitters, uh, the regular glitters, and then chunky glitters, just to see the different effects. And I think this lime green glitter turned out really pretty. So now I'm going to put this inside of the lamp. Okay, so it's been in there and I'm gonna take it out. Now I'm going to unmold it. 
It's a little warm. Again, be careful. And I'm going to start with the first one I did. I love this confetti glitter. Ooh, it was hot. So it's still not all the way cured in the front area of it. I'm actually going to put it back in. So I think because this mold is so thick that they were still kind of like sticky. So all I did was just pop them back inside and I took them out. So now I'm just demolding them. They feel a lot better. They're very sparkly. They're pretty cute, but they are on the thick, chunky side. So now I'm moving over to the little beer molds. I really like these. They are like a little big. But I really like them and that colorful confetti glitter is actually one of my favorites. I just wanted to see what it would look like by adding that lime green glitter to it. And it's a, like an extra fine glitter with the chunky glitter. Just to see how it would look. So I'm just going to make two of these little bears. And um, again, these are my favorite. I've added these to my Crocs before in the past. And they're like really, really cute. If I didn't say it before, you can get these little bear molds on um, Amazon.com. I think it was like six different sizes. I put these in for a few seconds, um, probably like a minute. And you know, it's on the thicker side. So if you have a mold or something that's like on the thick side, you can always go for a few minutes. Like you can literally, you can't over cure them. So the longer the better. And it's so pretty and it's super shiny. So um, I think these are very, very cute. Now this next mode, I have forgot to show it in the beginning of the video because I actually forgot I had it. I had to just find it. These are like some cute little Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse molds. I got these off Amazon. It was like two for $7. I have these alcohol inks. I bought them on Amazon a while ago. I'm still not too familiar with them. I think what I did is I put too much of the solution into the UV resin because what ended up happening is it didn't cure properly and I think I should have probably put one drop um, in such a little amount of the UV resin and just kind of stirred it. Then I'm just adding some glitter to the bow and I'm going to put this in for a few seconds but it initially it just didn't cure right and then the ink was getting on my gloves so I think this might have been two tries I'm not sure but it's fine I just know next time I'll just try it with glitter I added some UV resin to make the bow stay on there and I'm gonna pop this back into the lamp now here I'm showing you how to turn these into charms you'll need these little clear transparent buttons to put on the back of them I'm using UV resin because it makes sense to just pop them back into the lamp and make it stay on there and they are, they're locked on, like they're locked. This is how I make my charms. You could do it E6000 if you want to, but it takes way longer. And here are the charms, you guys. This is the final finished result. And the purses, I didn't turn into charms because I didn't like them enough, but my daughter used them as Barbie purses. And here is the final finished result of the charms. I love the bears. The stars are cute, but they're a little too chunky. So maybe next time if I decide to make these, I won't fill the mold up as far. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you are going to subscribe, make sure you do hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at life is a whole vibe with underscores in between each word. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Check out our website, radiance.com and we do carry full leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MYROYALBEAUTY10 off. Check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers.